Good morning. Good morning. It's we're, my birthday. Yep. <laughs> we're at the breakfast uh, buffet. buffet. We've ordered the eggs already. Yeah. Everything looks so good, like fresh. Mm. Oh, they have lactose free butter. Really? Mm hmm. Nice. How do I arm um, Not Chef Nuri messing up the micro -creams. But they're really good for you, but I don't know how to. I think you use both hands. Give me that. Okay. We should buy some. Remember, I used to grow it in school. What's your breakfast outfit? It's very cute. Cos skirt, cos jumper, and my urban revival boots. Very nice. What juice are you making? I'm gonna put loads of ginger, cause like. But that's a lot true. Oh, that's a, that is a lot. Yeah. I don't know how this works. Ginger. ginger. Right. Apple. Apple. Celery. Um. No, that's not celery. Is that celery? Yeah. Yeah, celery. I don't want my own. Another carrot in there. Carrot's good for you. Oh, you have extra? Oh, yeah, true. Nice. Love it. Really? Very gingery. This is the breakfast my situation breakfast. here. I love this kind of breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my, this is my plate, guys. Are you not gonna get any sauce for yours? What sauce? No, true. You need to put that on a separate plate. And get berries and stuff, go. Berries, no. This You're is... gonna have that as a savory waffle? Yeah, I'm gonna have it as Are a sav savory waffle, yeah. It's like duck and waffle. Are you being serious? No, I'm not. I mean, I am being serious. <laughs> Hi guys, it's my birthday. Woohoo! I'm 26 years old. Four years away from 30 and I still feel 18. My mum used to always say on her like on her birthday she used to say I still remember going to school I feel 18 and I used to think in my head yeah like whatever but it's true <laughs> like I still feel 18 but I'm 26 but yeah what are we doing today? So today we, we woke up we were meant to go to get a massage but that's later but then that's later yeah i wanted to see the sunset on my birthday and yeah. the massage would have meant that we would miss the sunset so we've moved the massage to another day which i'm happy about because i'd rather see the sunset because yeah. the sunsets here are beautiful true got flowers and a little cake from i don't me know if i vlogged him. that because it was a little bit hectic it, it was no it wasn't hectic it was early in the morning it was early in the morning i didn't know what it's doing <laughs> but yeah we can show you that i've got took pictures of it anyway okay, yeah um and now i thought we'd come for a little walk because this is just such a beautiful place Very and beautiful. Such a nice day, so I wanted to go on a little birthday walk. We're walking here. To we walked to some lake. <laughs> I haven't even said like an intro to the vlog. No, we haven't. We haven't, but this is the intro to the vlog. It's my birthday. <laughs> We're here at Miramonte Boutique Hotel, which is one of my favorite places in the world. We came here three years ago for True's birthday. Yeah. I booked it for him and um, we just loved it so much. And I thought, you know what, this year for my birthday, this is where I want to be. It's so peaceful. It's just a relaxing place. The the scenes are just unreal. It is autumn and when we were here last time it was winter so it was snowy and icy. Do you remember the lake is yeah. frozen and so we're experiencing it. I think we do have a video of you. <laughs> Trying to break the ice, not break the ice, I was like, risking on, it on the lake like the ice. tapping yeah. the ice. We'll insert it, we'll find it. Oh my god it is! It's 
solid. Oh my god, guys, I just found these animals which have just frozen in their positions like that they were probably in when this, this frozen thing happened. Look, oh my god, there's even a turtle. Wow, it's just frozen. But yeah, so it's nice to see it actually during autumn because it's very different to obviously winter, when we yeah. came in winter. Oh, the tree keeps slipping. Well, it's like holes hidden everywhere yeah because guys look this is the floor so you can't actually see and there's like rocks and things like that so it's a little bit dangerous <laughs> it's not dangerous <laughs> we're just city people that aren't you like we're not used to hiking but how beautiful is this look at all the leaves it's literally covered the ground it just looks like orange ground you're matching true i was made for autumn <laughs> okay how should we walk up to the lake so we can yeah. see what it looks like without Ice. ice yeah because we didn't actually get to see the lake all right so you should watch where you're <laughs> you take it. it's actually not that cold like yeah. i have bare legs but it's not cold i really like your outfit this is one of my favorite outfits i know i love this coat is this the exact same combo as new york the boots are different and the skirt is different but the coat is the main thing yeah. and i have my little pouch this is perfect for walking i actually put my coat in my, my i mean my phone in my pocket but this is the look, it's personalized, it says NA, my yeah. initials, and then you've got to walk hands free, and there's even slots for your card at the back. Exciting. My new accessory. I want one. This is the current. Oh, true. We, true. Look, this is why we shouldn't vlog and talk. Oh. We need to go up. <laughs> this is walking. We were literally going to walk, walk off the cliff. cliff. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should uh, get up to somewhere a little bit more stable yeah. and start vlogging. Yeah. I really like this coat. It's like it's made for this environment. Wait, let me put this camera away. I'm gonna... Okay, I, I can't now because I'm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have any hands. Yeah, this is it. We found the lake. It was frozen last time. Now it's. Yeah. Not. I think I prefer it frozen. When it's frozen, it looks cool. It looks clean. It's very still. That means it, there must be loads of mosquitoes then. I think it's, it's too not, it's it? too cold for that. I think. But yeah, I remember. This is the spot. Where exactly. Yeah, this that tree. I I this tree. See was when Niri went down on the ice. Look at her now, she's still alive, she's well. Two years. But I wouldn't recommend, I, would re I just tapped up my legs, I wouldn't ever stand on it, it's dangerous. Yeah, that was uh, pre-influencing, so now you have a lot more to risk. <laughs> so guys, it's been a while since our walk, we were just chilling in the room. True, did you vlog a room tour? I think oh. I did. Oh, these are the flowers he got for me, guys. How beautiful are these? What did you ask for when you ordered them? Basically, I think it was like our anniversary or something yeah. in Paris. I yeah. asked for flowers yeah. and I bought roses, right? Yeah. All red roses. So the only request I had for them was no red roses. Oh, so you said a bunch of flowers. This came in the morning and then we had this cake which was actually so tasty. I have a picture of it in case we didn't vlog it. Yeah. It's like a bisc like a light biscuit, but not really a biscuit. It was soft and then this chocolate mousse with fruit. It was delicious. And then this is what True got me. Prada bag on the floor. This coat, which I actually said I wanted because, um, so my Prada essay sent me when these first got released pictures of coats. Like he sent me about 30, and this was the one that stuck in my head. It's this beautiful blue color. I'm gonna insert a picture we just shot outside because the lighting is not showing the true color. It's this really gorgeous blue color. You guys know I'm obsessed with this color at the moment, and it's this puffer jacket which is just perfect. It's really flattering on. Let me actually put it on now quickly. I just took it off because we were shooting. I'm wearing this Cos cashmere jumper and then this skirt from Zara, which True thought it was from Prada because it's like in that nylon material. And I, whenever I get new stuff, I always ask True, like, what do you think? And he was like, oh, where's it from? It looks like Prada. And it's actually from Zara. So this is the puffer that True got for me. So I'm obsessed with the color and I think the fit's really nice. It's like that oversized, it's long. So I'm wearing this mini skirt, but it covers the bum so you can wear your mini skirt and I just really love this coat so we just shot some pictures outside so I could do my birthday post and we're going to get ready now to go to the pool but basically yesterday we went to this pool it's called the onsen pool and it's basically like this really hot bath I think it's like Japanese inspired um super hot but so True got in and I was about to go in and this couple got in like completely naked and I just it really put me off because like I understand in the sauna, like here in the sauna it says to take your clothes off, so like fair enough. But for me, like I just felt so uncomfortable, like we were in a pool. Yeah, it's not it's not a very big pool either, so you're just yeah, in the same proximity. Like, oh. And I couldn't go in, like him and his girlfriend or his wife just walked in. Both of them, like, proper, like, 
but fully naked. naked. <laughs> and then that's so just as I was about to go in, then I sat on the bench and I was just watching True. Like, I'm not getting in there. It's just like I don't know if that's a normal thing. Like, I I understand nudist beaches, but I've never known like pools, swimming pools, people to go in there naked. Also, you can see everything. I think we should talk to the manager. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go now. Hopefully, there's no one there. Yeah, we'll just pull out the vlog camera and then they can just like go no, away. They were, they, <laughs> they were taking pictures. Of oh, they were themselves. taking pictures. They were taking pictures. I was like, oh my god. Wow. But yeah. Also, this coat looks purple because of the light. It does, doesn't it? But it's it actually it's, blue. It's that. It's my favourite colour, blue. What you're wearing to the pool, Nuri? Sorry, you always catch me when I'm in the middle of taking a <laughs> selfie. My Chanel swimsuit because it's my birthday, so. Yeah, treat yourself. I treat myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking down to the spa now. It smells so amazing. Yeah. Look. The apple chips are the oh, best. Oh, yes, the apple chips. I literally have been dreaming about that. Oh, it looks quite yeah. empty today. These apple chips, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I have dreams about this. They're so good. They are the best thing ever. <laughs> they literally taste like apples. No, but. Like Oh, the lighting's so good here. Like a candy. Mm. So good. Good view. We just come here for the snacks. Mm. Yesterday I ate so many of these. So, this is the infinity ball. How beautiful is it? Mm. And there's like a little chill area. I don't want to take cameras in there. So the other pool is upstairs. Oh, we saw the naked yeah, this is one where we saw naked people. So I'm going to put the camera away in case there's a little slip. Yeah, this is where we were swimming. Yeah, we were swimming. We're swimming. Yeah, 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 we so guys, we just did a reel and took some pictures in this outfit, which seems like I'm going out somewhere fancy, but the reality is I'm going to get changed into my comfy clothes and we're going to get some pizza and have a movie night because that is my ideal birthday dinner. I'm not really a fan of fine dining, so for me, like my dream birthday is to sit in bed watching a movie with pizza. That's what we're going to do. But I had to get a birthday picture and do a birthday reel, so I'm wearing this David Coma dress and my sparkly renes which i love that's what i love about youtube you guys get to see the reality because the reality is that i'm actually not going out anywhere i just wanted to get pictures in there <laughs> truth <laughs> it's got his shirt off he's ready to work but yeah this dress is stunning it's by david coma it's got this alligator I thought it was the perfect birthday dress and i had some lashes on to give it more of an evening look but yeah as i said the plan is where gonna get changed and go and get some pizza from somewhere where we're staying is high in the mountain so we have to drive all the way down to town and the drive is quite scary because it's really high up like we're super high up that's it true's on to editing straight away look we love a hard working true <laughs> yeah but i'm gonna get changed out of this now i just thought i'd show you guys my birthday outfit but not really birthday outfit the real birthday outfit is gonna be my comfy outfit <laughs> i'm just obsessed with these hills these renees are stunning so guys, this is the real outfit, what I'm going to wear for <laughs> my birthday dinner. We're actually going to go to get a takeaway. So the place is, how far is it? 15 minute drive? Yeah, to the town. To the town and then we're going to get a takeaway. So yeah, this is my outfit. My totem coat, cos jumper and my mango leggings and some trainers because we're not going to actually be eating out. We're going to be eating in. So I just want to be warm because it's freezing. It's probably like one or zero degrees right now, guys. Crazy, crazy. True, it's just taking so long walking around. I'm like starving. You know when the, we do those couples questions, say so who takes longest to get ready, it's 100% true. Well, that's after Nuri asked me to like clean my leg, help me put his shoes on, etc. You didn't help me put this outfit on. But what I'm saying is, part of my getting ready is helping you get ready. But you didn't help me get ready for this outfit, so, so what is your excuse? Lifetime, no. Unacceptable, true. Also, guys, true said my birthday present that I got today in the Prada one is not my only birthday present, so I should be expecting some more on Saturday, which is exciting, right, true? That's what you said to me just now. Yeah. So, how many more presents am I getting on Saturday? How many more presents am I getting? I'm not sure. It's basically like getting two birthdays. I'm gonna have another birthday on Saturday with my family, 
and friends. So I'm excited. All right, are you ready, sir? Uh, yep. Finally, yeah, finally. We've got the car keys, and this is where we're driving down to. Look at this view. We're driving. Oh, let me move out That's of the. That's how high up we are, guys. We have to go all the way down. Yeah. So it's a 15-minute drive down to that city. It's not a city. It's a town, and we're getting some pizza. Yes, I'm very excited. This is like the perfect birthday. Pizza yeah. For dinner. Honestly, it is. You know, pizza is my favorite food. Yeah. And I always say pizza is my favorite. Look, that's our car, guys. We've got the red. That's, Can't miss her. That's our little car. Very cute. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? It is cold. Very cold. Freezing. Is your jacket actually like warm? No, it is. It's just it's time for the jacket. Then it's not really. True. But we found this place, La Prochetta. We've secured the goods. We have the pizza. Yeah. Ooh, that looks oh, it's so aubergine, babe. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's it's... go. That is aubergine. This is my perfect birthday meal. <gasps> Look at this aubergine, they're massive. And this, he put spinach and I don't know what that is. On some courgettes, maybe? Yeah, veg this is the vegetarian one. Oh, I'm so excited to eat. <laughs> well, they're both vegetarian, but this I'm one is... I'm watching Elena Holmes too. This is honestly the most ideal birthday dinner situation for me. I just yeah. love being cozy, especially having a birthday in November. Night guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. But you don't even know my name. But that's okay, I can't blame you. You've got better things to worry about. Like kissing strangers when you go. my birthday celebration with my family and my friends. They're keeping me away from the kitchen so I have no idea what the kitchen looks like right now. I'm excited. Oh, and Bika's here. <gasps> Hi! 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 Nice this is my Gucci corset that I actually bought last year around this time and then this Gucci matching skirt which I bought today from Matches yeah. Fashion. What were those gloves? They're Zayna's. Where are they from Zayna? Oh, I this is Zayna by the way. My yeah. This feels like an episode of The Office. Like, yeah. just like. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing, Anita? Um, yeah, it's some Mayo design. I love it. Mango, mango boots from about four years ago. Nice. Zara skirt, pull a bed top. Celine belt. It, yeah. I love this outfit so much. And it's watch. Oh, 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 watch. Oh, that actually still doesn't work. I love it. <laughs> I have seen that MS watch. So cool. nice. Yeah, it's but I want to get a yeah, it's the black watch. one. Tell us what you're wearing. Uh, I think you're, in, you're on theme. Are these from, these are from Next. What do you say? I think I was like, uh, Drew said, oh, it's oh. These are from H&M yeah. Zara so like Next. 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 I didn't even know it was vintage floral. Yeah, so yeah, I was like, because yeah. I was like, oh, it's a dress code. It's from Nuri. Casino. Casino. Oh. They give it to me, but it didn't fit me, so I gave it to you. <laughs> 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 Wow. Um, perfect timing. This is perfect. That looks so wow. Wow. Last night I went out. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Taz. Hi, Taz. So, this is a soft shell crab slider with okonomiyaki mayonnaise, mm. uh, pickled Japanese cucumber, and nori. Mm. This nori. is tempura rock prawn with Korean barbecue sauce and wakame. Yum. And this is a baby parata with white and brown crab from Cornwall, I believe, oh, uh, with some avocado, uh, crispy onions, and some chili jam. Mm. 
Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god! It's just good. I am. This is so good. Yeah. Massive corn with seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> Are we meant to start eating? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll be right here to say what it is. <laughs> Jasmine said if she could, she would take away my period. I would. Because I have bad The food is so good, true. Did a good job. Hi guys, this is a different period. It's my birthday. Today. It's my real birthday because my friends and family are here today. So it feels like a real birthday celebration. And you can probably hear there's loads of noise in the background because everyone's just talking and getting on. I love how everyone also got the corset memo. Jasmine. Because Gia's wearing the corset, I'm wearing corset. We're actually all matching. Girls, we're all matching. All the neutrals. That's really sweet of you. Things are all about being my family and my friends, and you guys are all family to me anyway. So you're all my closest and most loved people in this room. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Aww.
Oh, that's nice. This is the never ending spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's raspberry and coconut. Oh, wow. that sounds delicious. Wow. Wow. Beautiful slice. Okay, should we do some of Yeah. These are the presents. Hello, guys. Oh, it's not actually a sit down video. This is just going to be added to the back of the vlog. You have seen the birthday vlog. I had an amazing time with my friends and family, honestly. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Like the trip to the Dolomites was just so nice for True and I to switch off, just relax, enjoy the spa. It's such a beautiful place. And then when I came home, we celebrated with my family because all I wanted was just to be at home with my closest ones. And that's exactly what we did. I'm just so grateful for another year grateful for you guys i just had a really amazing time and thank you so much for all the birthday wishes guys i really appreciate it so i thought i would just show you in the same video what i got for my birthday so i'm going to do a quick like show and tell because i don't think in the vlog you actually got to see properly what i got and i got some amazing presents and i honestly when my friends my family asked me what i wanted I literally couldn't tell them what I wanted because there wasn't anything that I actually really wanted which is a nice position to be in like not having a need or a want for anything so I'm really grateful for these gifts they're honestly just amazing so I'm gonna start off with True's gifts this one you probably already saw in when we were in the Dolomites it's from Prada I just realized I'm wearing a matching jumper to the True's here by the way guys say hi to True everyone so he got me this puffer jacket which I love. I honestly didn't even intentionally wear this color jumper. I really love this blue color. On camera, can you see the color well? But yeah, he got me this beautiful puffer from Prada. I love the fit of it. It's like a slightly long puffer, but not super long. So it covers your bum, which is really nice. And it has the Prada logo here. I love Prada ready to wear. And I feel like this is just such a nice piece to have in my wardrobe. And it's also a very special piece, like not something that I would typically go and buy for myself. It's something that is nice to be gifted. So really happy with this. And then next up, he got me something from Bottega, which is one of my favorite brands for luxury accessories. I kind of make his life easy because I have a YouTube channel and I do wish list videos. So all he has to do is go on there and see what I want. And he got me the Jody. So this is the Bottega Jody in size small. Although I find it so weird saying small because for me this is large, but it's what they call small. And I have been wanting this bag for so long. Every time I get ready, I put in an outfit and I'm literally like, it's missing the Jody because I just needed a really big, no logo bag that sits on the shoulder. Is she, I'm obsessed, I love it. Thank you so much, True. Now I've shown you guys, I can finally start using this bag. Honestly, like even with this outfit, it just goes. So look at that. So that's what he got me. And then he also did take me and arrange the trip to the Dolomites. So that was also one of my gifts. Yeah, so I won't forget that, thank I you, True. Know. Oh, and he arranged the birthday, and thank you, True. And then he got me something very special and unexpected because I didn't even ask for this, but it's something that I always want and it is a pair of vintage chanel earrings from susan kaplan which if you don't know you should check her out she does amazing chanel vintage jewelry like the most gorgeous collection no way. <laughs> i'm opening it so delicately and one just fell out they are literally like perfect condition i'm going to come up and show you guys he got me these amazing vintage chanel earrings i already have a pair on right now these are ones that i picked up in paris you guys know chanel is one of my favorite brands and i love the vintage jewelry so i'm actually going to put it on so you can see what it looks like on they're clip-ons a lot of the vintage chanel jewelry are clip-ons like this is a clip-on and true you just picked the most amazing pair of earrings like look at that it just I'm wearing this basic blue jumper and it just transforms that entire look. I love it. They're just so beautiful. This was honestly one of my favorite gifts from True because it was a surprise. Like the Bottega bag I kind of expected because I was like, what have I been banging on about? And like True's good at listening. So I feel like he kind of got the hints with that one. And the Prada puffer as well was something that I spoke about. But this, this was a surprise and I just love it so much. They're also not too heavy. They're like a nice weight where it's not gonna weigh my earrings down. Actually, I'll keep these ones on. I feel like if I change it now to these, it's gonna be like, <laughs> I mean, I love these, but you know. Okay, we're gonna keep these ones on. Right, next. Should we keep on the theme of Chanel? Yeah, let's do the theme of Chanel. Oh my goodness, so this present surprised me. I actually started crying because I was just, it was such a unexpected gift. So my friend Ambika got me this. I literally still can't get over it. I can't 
don't know how she managed but basically let me tell you a little backstory she has the most amazing vintage chanel heels like she has a collection of heels she's really good at finding vintage pieces her style is amazing she's amazing she's become like a really really close friend of mine this year i just love her so much when my friends asked me what i wanted for my birthday i honestly said like nothing because all i wanted was them to be there there's nothing that i could think of that i could ask them to get me because i didn't want anything but anyway so when I got this box, I was like, oh, what could this be? I thought it was gonna be a mixture of like cute candles, maybe little bits, and then I unboxed it. I still can't get over this. She got me a pair of vintage Chanel heels. And I say vintage, but guys, they honestly, like I don't even think they've been worn. Like that you can see they've been worn a couple of times. They look brand new. And even she said when she had got them, she went to get them authenticated again because she was surprised at how good the condition was so she had to get authenticated just to make sure they are authentic and they came back like yeah they are so they've got this satin detail at the front with this chanel logo i'm gonna do close up and then the satin on the heel on the back and then it's mesh all along i don't know how she found these for me since i saw her vintage chanel collection every day been going on like all these vintage sites trying to find a pair of vintage chanel heels and it's impossible to find a good condition pair in my size so i have no idea how she managed to do it but she did so I literally, I cried because I've been wanting a pair of vintage Chanel heels for so long and I've been trying to look for them myself, but they're impossible to find. So I can't believe she got this for me. This is what they look like on. I'm actually wearing pajama bottoms. I'm scamming you guys. I'm in a jumper and Chanel earrings, but I'm wearing pajama bottoms on the bottom, but it actually goes with my pajama bottoms because of the black lining. <laughs> oh, I'm literally just gonna basically be adding on all my gifts and then keeping them on for this video. <laughs> <laughs> love them i honestly just can't wait to wear them they're so beautiful that was my gift from ambika and i'm so grateful and just so so happy then my friend manisha she first got me a bag of pick and mix sweets which are not here to show because they've been completely demolished but it was so sweet because basically we've been friends since we were 11 or even younger and after school we would go to the corner shop and get some sweets like we always get like pick and mix sweets so she got me a big bag of pick and mix sweets but from a very hygienic not the ones that we used to go to where they were literally exposed and open and like been there for 10 years she went to like a nice <laughs> bougie one and she got me some pick and mix sweets i love thoughtful gifts like that like just so cute like it just brought back memories so she got me that and then she also got me the manifest book by roxy this is quite a popular book so you guys might already know about it but it's seven steps to living your best life and i think it's a book basically about like manifesting how to manifest and then it, at the back of the book it has like notes so you can make notes as you're reading along which i think is so nice and i've heard so many good things about this book and again this is a meaningful gift because manisha is one of the first people in my life who ever actually spoke about manifesting and i remember she used to manifest a lot of things even like gcse grades and i used to think like oh like does this even work and it always did and she really inspired me to actually start believing in what you want visualizing it speaking about it she was the first person who kind of introduced manifesting into my life and i don't know a great deal about it but i do truly believe in manifesting i feel like i've manifested a lot of things it's really very interesting manifesting doesn't work with just saying like i manifest a nice big house and then you don't do anything and it happens that's just kind of wishing manifesting is about visualizing your goals speaking about things imagining yourself in that situation and working towards that and i do truly believe in manifesting so i'm very excited to read this book and i think it's such a great gift especially from someone who first introduced manifesting into my life so thank you manisha for your gifts okay and then jasmine got me this beautiful leather jewelry box which has my name on it i'm gonna come closer and show you it's in my favorite color green with gold so this was another very thoughtful gift like i am a very hard friend to buy for i think especially being in this line of work i get gifted by brands so many amazing things oh, oh, i'm going off tangent but i just want to say this um i get gifted by so many amazing brands and i still pinch myself when i get these gifts from brands so then it's really hard for my friends my family to get me gifts because they're like what do you get a girl who has everything and i feel like i do have everything so i really appreciate like all of these thoughtful gifts and 
it just means a lot to me so for jasmine she got me this jewelry box because she said you're always traveling and obviously you have loads of jewelry pieces so it'd be nice to have something small you could take with you when you're traveling and i was like that is so right jasmine and very very thoughtful this was a very beautiful gift from jasmine and then she also got me a birthday card from moon pig which is kind of our tradition every year we do a moon pig birthday card because we'll put pictures of ourselves on there i'm not going to show you because she always puts an ugly picture of me on there so you're not going to see that guys but yeah thank you jasmine in. I am going to be using this next month actually on our next trip from my mum I've really worn these my mum was like Nuri what do I get you you literally have everything like I don't know what to get you I was like mum please don't get me anything I really don't want anything but then I felt really bad because she was like I can't not get you anything like I need to get you something so I was like you know what I actually really want a pair of Ugg slippers and I sent her the link I was like these are the ones I want so these are the platform Ugg slippers which I love my feet are always freezing cold like come autumn winter I have the coldest feet and Uggs really keep your feet warm obviously because I've got shirling so these are from my mum and I've been wearing these since she got them for me they are honestly so so comfortable the best slippers ever I also think this is a great gift idea if you don't know what to get someone who has everything no one will not appreciate does that make sense everyone appreciates a good pair of slippers especially when they're the ugg ones but then also she felt really bad that she got me a pair of ugg slippers like just as my gift like she's like it doesn't sit right with me so she wants to get me a piece of jewelry because she loved giving me jewelry for sentiment because for my last birthday she got me the this messica bracelet that i always wear um so she wants to give me another piece of jewelry so i need to have a think about what what piece i want to get so we can pick something out because i think it is nice as well to have pieces of jewelry from my mum that i will obviously keep forever so yeah i have one more gift coming which is nice something to look forward to i'm going to pick out a, some a jewelry piece maybe you can help me what is like your favorite fine jewelry piece guys what should i go for ring bracelet earrings necklace I don't know next one this one is from my sister louisa this is kind of funny because basically i had was drafting up an email and i was like trying to come up with ideas to send to true for what to get for my birthday because he was really struggling and i was like okay i'm gonna send you some things that are on my wish list and i literally only added two things on there and i didn't finish the email and the first one was the Bottega bag that he got me and the second one was this and my sister she's my full-time assistant so she works with me so she has access to my email drafts and she had seen on the drafts it was like something like birthday wish list and it literally had the Bottega bag and this and true had already got that so she got me this so it's very cute very very sneaky because i forgot that she could see my drafts so she got she knew exactly what to get me they come in the beautiful Mimi case and they are a pair of sunglasses because I can't get enough of them. They're one of my favorite accessories for luxury um, brands like to get a piece from. I feel like sunglasses are such a great buy. They're in this tortoise shell and they have the Mew Mew logo, they, like it says Mew Mew on the side. And I absolutely love tortoise shell sunglasses, like the Celine ones I wear all the time. And I thought I would go for something a little bit different. Like I like the shape of these, they're kind of overly, but not so overly. Um, and I really like the Mew Mew detail on the side. And I don't actually own anything from Mew Mew, so I thought this was a nice piece. So thank you. Louisa because that was a very unexpected gift is this sunglasses on what do we think guys oh I need to take the sticker off they're really I really like them I think they're just really cool so yeah thank you for this gift Louisa I really appreciate it okay and then I treated myself to something guys I actually treated myself <laughs> maybe a bit too much because I also bought some pieces from Chanel which I'm going to put in a separate vlog because that was the cruise collection and I want to kind of I've got lots of footage because I went to preview the collection that I want to share with you guys so I'm going to put that in a different vlog and then I got this which can you pass it to me true I treated myself to a present from Jimmy Choo I've had my eye on these boots for ever since they've come out and I actually am missing a pair of stiletto black knee-high boots i don't know if you guys remember i did a london vlog and it was on my list to get a pair of stiletto knee-high boots these are the new addition to my wardrobe how beautiful are these boots now what i love about these boots is that they look so sexy on the leg they have a full zip that goes all the way down so you don't have to struggle with taking off the boots putting them back on you can do them all by yourself. 
they have this like buckle cuff detail which i just think adds a lot to a plain stiletto boot but i i didn't know this you can actually remove the buckle which means if after a couple of years this becomes a bit boring or for certain outfits you don't want this gold detail buckle you can just take it off completely like it comes off and there you have your plain black stiletto boots i'm obsessed you basically get two boots in one i sized up one whole size although i'm starting to think now i'm not really a size 39 that i'm more a 40 because recently i've been buying shoes in a size 40 so maybe my feet have grown but yeah so i have these in a 40 and i normally wear 39 slash 40 so but i think normally with boots i do size up because i'd rather have extra room because obviously you wear socks and things like that with it but yeah this is what i got for myself for my birthday a pair of jimmy Choo boots i actually got these guys for like 30 or 40 percent off because Netta Porter are having their Black Friday sale and I got this on discount. So if you are thinking about treating yourself and you want you want something like this, get them while they're on discount because I think I saved around 400 pounds. That is everything that I got for my birthday. Once again, I'm so, so grateful to all my friends and family for these amazing gifts. I truly feel so spoiled. I'm just so, so happy. I honestly feel like the happiest girl in the world. I'm so thankful to you guys for supporting me, for giving me an amazing year and for all of the lovely birthday wishes so we're gonna end the vlog here the birthday vlog the birthday video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye